and I'm going to take out another book. Okay. Okay. Ballerina. It does look like a ballerina. What do you see that makes you say ballerina? The sparkles. How about this? At the end of the book, I'll let you all touch it, okay? Because it is a little bumpy because it's sparkly. You notice that. And even, guess what? You notice that the picture's sparkly, and I'll tell you that this word right here says sparkle. Do you know what the next word is? Boy. Sparkle boy. So what do you see happening in this picture right here? Spinning around like a ballerina. And what did you say? He opened his hands. Opened up his hands. Right? And you think that's a girl maybe. You were wondering before about what do boys look like, what do girls look like. Right here it says sparkle boy. So here is the boy dancing around. That's a girl. You think it's a girl? Let's find out and read. Why do you think it's a girl? What do you see that makes you say that? Because the necklace and, and, and that. And that? But before you said that girls have long hair, right? Yeah. But this person has short hair. It's a boy. It's a boy. Hmm. There are some things about this picture that make you think it's a boy. Some things about this picture that make you think it's a girl, right? Yeah. Let's because they have like... Because you're really looking at that sparkly skirt. Now watch this. I'm going to ask you, what else do you see happening in this picture? There's this person dancing, right? Oh, and you see some toys. What's that? A truck. What's that? A treasure chest. A tre treasure chest. And what's inside of it? Blocks. Blocks. Do you see the blocks right there? And before you were noticing tr trucks in the other book, do you see that truck right there? Hmm. It's a little bit messy. And you just noticed there's also a dog. Look at that. Now let's go inside and see what happens. With oh in oh and there's toys inside the truck. So let's go inside the book and see what happens with the toys and the dog and Sparkle Boy. You ready? First we look here. This is called the end paper. What color do you see on the end paper? Orange. Orange. Oh, and yellow over here on the flap. Now let's go into the book. <gasps> look what else is orange. Right there, the lid on the jar. It says beads. Sparkle boy. Oh, and carrots are orange, too. You're exactly right. Oh, all those blocks. You said there was a messy room, right? I said it. Yeah, and there's and the dog a dog. Is building it. And you think the dog is going to build with blocks? That would be fun. Mm -hmm. wow. Now let's read this. Ready? That's a girl. Jesse adored. This person's name is Jesse. Jesse adored all things shimmery, glittery, and sparkly. Can you do that when I say sparkly? Sparkly. Look at my shimmery skirt, Jessie said to her little brother, Casey, as she twirled into the living room and her skirt twirled all around with her. Casey looked up from his alphabet blocks. Ooh, shimmery, shimmery, he said, reaching out his hand. I want shimmery. Can you say shimmery? Shimmery. Casey wants a skirt just like his big sister. Jessie stopped twirling and her skirt stopped twirling too. You can't have a shimmery skirt, Casey, she said. Why, Casey asked. Because boys don't wear shimmery skirts, said Jessie. Right, Mama? So she thinks he shouldn't have one because he's a boy. And she asked her Mama if her Mama thinks that too. Mama thought for a minute. minute. If Casey wants to wear a skirt, Casey can wear a skirt, she said. I don't have a problem with that. So Mama said it's okay. Mama went upstairs and came back with a skirt that was too small for Jessie. Here, buddy, she said to Casey, try this on. Ooh, shimmery, shimmery. Can you do that again? Shimmery, shimmery. Casey said as he twirled around and around and his shimmery skirt twirled around with him. Casey twirled and twirled till he got dizzy and he plopped down on his bottom. Casey laughed. But Jesse frowned. Now look at this picture. Right here, this is called the gutter of the book. And the gutter. She is sad because they have a skirt. 
Yeah, Jesse is sad because he has a skirt on. What do you see in that picture that tells you Jesse is sad? Because the eyes are lying. Eyes, kind of like in the other book where the boy had that angry eye. She has those eyes going down. Can you make your eyes go down? Yeah. And so she's looking over there thinking, I don't want him to have a skirt. How does Mama feel? Happy. Mama happy. feels happy. She thinks it's okay. How does Casey feel? Happy. He's happy too, does right? He like the mom. What? Like, like the mom. Like the mom. Does he not happy? She thinks she's angry. Oh, this. Okay, so let's. Who's this feeling? What is this feeling for Mama? And how does Mama feel? Happy. Happy. How does Jesse feel? Sad. Sad or angry? How does Casey feel? Happy. Yeah. I'm going to peek on the next page to see what feelings I see there. Huh. Do you want to see? Okay, I'll count, count to three. I'll show you. Ready? One, One two, two, three. three. The next afternoon, Jessie went to a birthday party. When she came home, she raced into the kitchen. Look at my glittery nails, Jessie said. Glittery. Can you do that? Glittery nails. And she fanned out her fingers. Her nails glittered in the light. Not Tommy and the boy is one to paint the nails. You figured it out. Now the boy wants to paint his nails. Casey looked up from his animal puzzle. Ooh, glittery, glittery, he said, pulling Jesse's hands toward him. I want glittery. That's how Casey feels. Jesse snatched her hands away. You can't have glittery nails, Casey, she said. Why, Casey asked. Because boys don't wear glittery nail polish, said Jessie. Right, Daddy? She asked her Daddy. Daddy thought for a minute. Most boys don't wear nail polish, he said. But Casey can if he wants to. There's no harm in that. Oh, my God. Does that surprise you? Yeah. Is it unusual for a boy to wear nail polish? It surprised me, too. It surprised you, too? You went like this to your face. <gasps> right? But Dad says, it's okay. There's no harm in it. What does that mean, there's no harm? Do you know? It's all right. Yeah, it means it doesn't hurt anybody. If he wants to wear nail polish, it's okay, because it doesn't hurt anybody if he tries it. Daddy went upstairs and came back with a bottle of glittery polish. Can you say glittery? Glittery, glittery polish. polish. Can't you just paint his toenails, Jesse asked, and then make him put on his socks? That's not a bad idea, Daddy said to Casey. What do you say, pal? No, Casey shouted. He held out his hands and kept them perfectly still while Daddy painted his fingernails. Ooh, glittery, glittery, Casey said as he spread his fingers wide so his nails glittered in the light. Jesse shook her head. What's his name? Roman. 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 Look, at Roman. Look, do you see? He got those glittery nails. Can you wiggle your fingers? Glittery, glittery. Yeah. And now how does Jessie feel? Sad because him has glittery nails. She feels sad because of his nails. Mm -hmm. And how do you know she's sad? What do you see in the picture? Nails. Her, she's like that. <laughs> she makes her eyes like that. Can you make your angry kind of sad face? Oh. And then the gutter keeps her over here and the daddy and Casey over here and how does Casey feel? Happy. Happy. Do you know how daddy feels? No, because him is looking that way. He's looking the other way so it's hard to see how daddy feels. Can you make a <laughs> guess about how daddy feels? Happy. Yeah, because he said there's no harm in that. Now I'm going to turn the page and see what happens. Are you ready? Count to three, we'll do it. One, One two, two, three. The next morning, Jessie and Casey's grandmother came to visit. No. Abuelita, I like your sparkly bracelet, said Jessie. You can have one, I have plenty, Abuelita said. She took off a bracelet and she slid it onto Jessie's wrist. Jessie swiveled her arm back and forth. Can you do that? And she watched the bracelet sparkle. Casey looked up from his dump truck. Look, Roman. Did you and see the truck right there? I do. And the boy wants the bracelet. You think the boy wants the bracelet? Ooh, sparkly, sparkly, Casey That's said. Sparkly. I want sparkly. Can you say that like Casey? Sparkly, sparkly. sparkly. I want sparkly. The grandma said yes. You think she's going to say yes? 
Let me look. Let's see what she says. Oh. <laughs> Jessie hid her arm behind her back. Can you hide your arm? You can't have a sparkly bracelet, Casey, she said. Why, Casey asked. Because boys don't wear sparkly bracelets, said Jessie. Right, Abuelita? Abuelita thought for a minute. I've never seen a boy wear a sparkly bracelet, she said. Until now. Abuelita turned to Casey. Here, sparkle boy, she said. She took off another bracelet and slid it onto Casey's arm. There's no reason why Casey can't wear a bracelet, Jesse. He isn't hurting anyone. Ooh, sparkly, sparkly, Casey said. Can you do that? Sparkly, sparkly. As he swiveled his arm back and forth and watched his bracelet sparkle, Jessie stomped her foot and she ran inside. So look, Abuelita and Casey over here on the Verso page. And there's that part of the book. Do you remember what that's called again? The gutter. The gutter separates them from Jessie, and she goes in. What? The girl's body puts the boys. Yeah. She's running inside because she still doesn't want it, right? The grown ups are all saying, it's okay, it doesn't hurt anyone, but Jessie has a different feeling. Now, before I read the words, let's talk about the feelings in this picture. We see Mama. How does Mama feel? We see Casey. How does Casey feel? Happy. We see Jesse. How does Jesse feel? No. And what about the puppy? Do you know? It's hard to tell, isn't it? It's happy. Maybe happy? No, I think mad. You think mad? Let's, the dog. Yeah, there's the dog. I'll read. Let's find out. On Saturday, Daddy went grocery shopping, and Mama took Jesse and Casey to the library. Who here goes to the library sometimes? Do you ever go? It's a fun it, it, place I to go. And next, I go with my Nana sometimes. Yeah, and what do you find at the library with your Nana? Books. Oh, and I play. You play, and you find lots of books. So they're going to go have a fun time. Jesse came I went down. To the library before. Did you? It's a fun place. Well, Jessie came downstairs wearing her shimmery skirt. Can you do that? Shimmery skirt and her sparkly bracelet and her nails glittered in the light. Soon Mama came downstairs with Casey. He wore his shimmery skirt and his sparkly bracelet and his nails glimmered in the light too. Mama, Jessie cried as she thrust her fists onto her hips. Why is Casey dressed like that? Remember she did this before? We saw her like that. Because that's how Casey wants to dress, Mama said. But that's not how boys are supposed to dress, said Jessie. Casey looks silly. I don't think Casey looks silly, Mama said, smiling at her, at him. I think Casey looks like Casey. Oh, where are they now? Library. At the library. What do you see that tells you that they, they're there now? Reading. They're reading, yeah. They're Read reading books. some books, and there's lots of books behind them. When like you. Yeah, just like me. I'm reading a book, and just like who else? All of you. When Casey, Jesse, and Mama got to the library, story time had already started. They sat and back to listen. After the librarian finished reading, Mama went to the front desk to check out some books. Jesse and Casey waited for her in the children's room. I like your skirt, a girl said to Jesse. Which girl in the picture is talking, do you know? Mom. She's not the mom. She's no. So there's Jesse. There's Casey. Who's talking to them? Ah, this girl. You found her, Roman, and you did too. So this girl is saying, I like your skirt. Jessie didn't say anything. Uh, and I like your sister's skirt. Jessie still didn't say anything. I'm not a sister, Casey said. I'm a brother. You can't be a brother, said the girl. Why, asked Casey. Because you're a girl, she answered. Why does this girl think that Casey is a girl? Because we're because of the skirt, just like who else thought that? Like the girl. Yeah. I'm a boy, 
said Casey. You are an older boy, said? Which older boy is talking now? Do you know? Yeah, I saw you all found. This boy is talking. How do you know this is the boy who's talking? He has short hair and he's got his mouth open. And so you think that's the boy who's talking. Hey, look, he called to his friend, a boy in a skirt. The boy's friend laughed. Then he knelt in front of Casey. Dude, he said, you can't go around wearing a skirt. Why? Casey asked. Because him is a boy. That's what they think, right? Boys don't wear a skirt. That's what they think. What do the grown-ups in this story think? Yeah. They think it's okay. Yeah. They think it's okay. You look weird and everyone will laugh at you, said the boy. How does Casey feel now when that boy says that to him? Sad. He does feel sad. What do you see that makes you say that? Because him and the cheeks are sad. Yeah, so you're looking at his cheeks and you said his cheeks look sad. What about his cheeks look sad? Because they're red. They're red. So what's another feeling he might be having? He feels sad and what else? The eyes are sad. And the eyes look sad. Poor Casey. Was that nice what that boy said no. to him? No. Boys don't wear skirts and bracelets and nail polish. Everybody knows that, says the boy. Right, he said, turning to Jesse. How does Jesse feel? Yeah. Mad. You said she looks I think mad. She like when like him like 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 she's cop like him copying her. So she feels like he's copying her because they had the same idea, right? That Casey shouldn't wear wear clothes like that. But watch what Jesse does next. Are you ready for this? Jesse looked at Casey. His face was scrunched up like it always did right before he was going to cry. Why can't boys wear skirts and bracelets and nail polish? Jesse asked the boys. But they don't wear it. That's what they think. And so Jesse says, why? Because, said one of the boys. That's just the way it is, said the other. Not any more, said Jesse. Can you say that? Not no. any more. And she put her arm around Casey's shoulder. Come on, little guy, she said. Let's find Mama and go home. So what is Jesse doing here in this picture? What do you see happening? They have the bag with books. They have a bag with books. And, and the boy is hurting the book, the, uh, the bag. Oh, and the boy is holding the bag. And what else is Jesse doing? She's holding the books, and what else? The bag. And she's holding the bag, and so is Casey. And what else is happening? And, and, and the bat is some books. Yeah. Two books. So they have all those books to bring. And where are they going to go now? Did you hear that part? Home. Yeah. Home. Jesse and Casey adored all things shimmery. Can you do that? Shimmery. shimmery. And glittery. Mm -hmm. And sparkly. Mm -hmm. Especially each other. What do you see happening now? They were in the crown. Yeah, now she's wearing a crown. That's another sparkly thing they did together. <coughs> and what else is happening? You're pointing to something. To what do you point? The nail. The no. nail polish. It's so, yeah, on his toes. Jesse's painting his toes now. So, how does Jesse feel about Sparkle Boy now? Happy. Happy, yeah. She thinks it's okay. And that's the end of that book. So I want to say you children did such a beautiful job reading that book with me. Thank you so much. Do you have any questions or ideas about those books? I love that book. You loved this book too? Me too. Yeah? What did you love about this book? The sparkly. The yes. sparkly? Yeah, I like sparkly. So I'm going to give you all a chance. Ready? I'm going to call you up so that you can touch the sparkle part, okay? Roman, would you come up and touch the sparkly book if you want to? Which part is sparkly? Oh, you uh, found the block. You like that? <laughs> and you found a letter right on that block. Would you like to touch the sparkly part? That was your idea. Yeah. And would you like to touch it? Good.